Hey everyone, it's me Alex and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your old iPad or any other device that you don't use anymore and turn it into a digital photo frame. So all you need to get started for this video is your device that you don't use anymore. And I want to go ahead and show you step by step on how to get this started. So now it's time to grab that old device that you don't use and give it a life again. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is the iPad I'm using as my photo frame. I actually got a new iPad Air. So I was like, what should I do with this? And I know like now of us nowadays have a lot of photos that we want to show, but we don't look at them because we have so many. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. The first step is the free option, which is using the Apple Photos app. But before we do that, I want to show you what you need to do first. So what you want to do is go to settings on your iPad and you want to go down to uh, display and brightness. And you can choose a brightness that you want to show the pictures in. I have it like this for now. And then you want to click on auto lock. You want to make sure auto lock is set to never because if you have, let's say two minutes or five minutes, the display is going to shut off. So make sure it's on never. And once you select never, you want to go back and you want to go down to accessibility and scroll down to select guided access. And you want to make sure guided access is on. So, and you could set a passcode. So for this example, we can say one, two, three, four. And if you want, if you have an iPad with touch ID, like I do, you can go ahead and turn on touch ID. So that means you can unlock it when you need to use it again. So I already set that up. I have my passcode set. We're going to go back and I'm going to go ahead and show you the first app, which is the photos app. So what you want to do is create an album. I created this album for now called YouTube Demo. Uh, this is the one at the bottom that's the main one that I always use, but right now I have it hidden because my family are on those pictures and I don't want to show them without their permission. So it was on camera. So what you're going to do is select photos, create the album, and then you can click on plus to select your photos. And once you do that, you want to click on the three arrows or the dots. And you want to click on slideshow right here. So it's going to go ahead and start your slideshow. And then you want to click on options. You want to click on repeat. Make sure that's on. You can change the speed on how fast and slow it changes. You can see it's doing that right now. We can do theme. You can choose what you want right there. And make sure uh, music, you can have it off if you don't want like music all the time because it can get annoying. So if you're going to use this option, you're done. So what you want to do is because they're already on repeat mode. So you want to triple click the home button. You're going to go one, two, three. Guided access started. So what this does is totally lock the iPad. You can, I'm gonna, this is the one I have touch ID, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to click the button. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. It's gonna show guided access is enabled. So to unlock you to enter your passcode or use touch ID. So the iPad is completely locked. If I click on the arrow up here, or turn it off, sorry, it's locked, the volume control is gonna be off. So that's the first way. So now let's say you want to add photos again, or if you have iCloud like we do, or like you add photos to your um, to the album automatically, you can unlock your iPad. It's going to say guided access ended, or enter. Tri you can do triple click again, enter your passcode, you're going to click on done. And then it could reload again, start the slideshow. So that's the first option, which is the using the free option using Apple's uh, slideshow uh, app. I mean, sorry, Apple Photos app. The sec second option is by going to the Apple App Store. And you're going to search for, I personally got this app the first time and I liked it. So right now, uh, so I'm going to click, so I'm going to click on photo, slide, frame, sorry, frame, app. I'm going to search that. It's loading. Mm -hmm. And also while it's loading, it's important to have, you want to pass a power supply to the iPad because if you don't, the battery is going to drain and it's going to turn off once the the power dies, uh, the battery dies. So just plug it in and plug it into an outlet. As you can see, I don't have nothing fancy. It's just like on a table and my iPad's doing the slideshow. It's probably the internet. <laughs> Sorry. So are you going to do photo frame slideshow, which is going to switch to digital photo frame slideshow? And this is the one I downloaded, which is digital frame slideshow. You're going to go ahead and download that. It's free. And you're going to click on. So once it downloads, you're going to have like a list of your files. I clicked it again because, again, I don't want to show the pictures for right now. So then you're you you're, you're want to allow full access to your photo library because then that means you can see your iPhone pictures directly on here. You don't need to upload pictures and have it sync and everything. It just loads your iCloud photo library and you're in. So then here, this one has more functionality. So but this is the same photo. I mean, you can see the same album I had and it's on this app. So this one does charge you $7 a week, I think, or a month 
or you can pay for unlimited access forever, thirty, uh, which is twenty nine dollars, which would be thirty forever. So that means you never have to do a payment again. It'll be uh, you'll unlock the app totally, and you don't need to keep paying for the app. So once you select your photos, you can click on the play button up here, or if you want to play specific ones, select the ones you want. I'm going to click on select off, but technically you don't need to do that. You can click on cancel. If you want to play all of them, just click on the play button, and then. You can repeat, so that means it just loops the pictures, shuffle the pictures if it's like you want it in a different format than how they're listed. You can do a slide a time. So this is how long it takes for the picture to change. I have it on, on seven minutes, sorry, I'm sorry, seven seconds. You can click the transition type, which how the picture changes. I have on fading because it's just like a small fade. You don't see it as much. And um, you want to make sure it's on like, oh, transition speed, just how fast or slow. I have it on normal because it's like a good speed. For it to change we have a uh, image contrast which is how it fits the picture if you wanted to fit or zoom in but if you have it like this it shows like a little side how the picture looks which i like that one so i'm gonna keep that one live photos if you want it to show them or you can have them play like the picture you know if there's on the iphone there's live pictures so you can like play it or you could and you can mute the audio if you don't want any sound Videos, again, you can uh, choose if you want them to play or no, but I'm going to click on, I'm gonna, I want them, I'm going to mute the sound because I don't want any sound coming out of here. And then here you can have a customization. You will have a caption. You can turn, it's like a caption of the video, of the video or photo. So just, sometimes on iPhone, it's like H, like weird numbers. Your location time and the location, the text size, you can change it. You can choose the color of the text. So like, let's say you want it on red. Background color of the box. Image caption, I turned that off because I mean, it kind of, it was like right on the top and it took over like the screen, which I didn't want. You can have um, the date, you can have the date and time. I'm gonna go, you can show the weather, but I'm gonna turn that off now because it kind of shows the location and I don't want that right now. The air quality and snow UV index. So we're gonna go back. And then this one's cool because it has a slideshow timer. So let's say I have it on. So you, you can have it like, since so your iPad not on 24 seven, you can have it shut off automatically. So you can do, I have it set to nine. You'll click on here. It'll come up like this. So I have it turned on at 9 a.m. And you'll have it turn off, oops, nope, 9 a.m. And I have it to turn off at 10, 10 p.m. And then slideshow, so like settings before you play it, that's up to you, but I'll keep it on. And restore to default the way it is. So once you're ready with your settings, you can click on start slideshow. It's going to go, uh, as you can see, I'll probably insert the uh, screen recording because you can't see it. It says timer is on. Start time 9 a.m. and end time 10, 10 p.m. Of course, that would change when you, if yours is different, tap anywhere to close it. And then from here, what you, wow, you can't see that on camera. What you want to do is triple click the home button again. Guided access started, so that means the iPad is completely touchless. No one can just come up here and let's say, I want to touch the screen. You can't turn it off or push anything. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, if you have like the weather, it would show right here. I just have it locked right now. As you can see, April 28th, and no match. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can use your iPad as a digital photo frame. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and this cool tutorial step-by-step uh, -step guide helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a, a, post a new video. And let me know if you would try this. This is really cool because now you can see your pictures nonstop throughout the day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.